ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mouse Cheers. 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 Something a little different today. Ah, margarita. Got a margarita going. Do you know why? Well, well, first of all, let me just bring to it the attention. So I have a Plant Hollywood glass. You yep. have a, the Rainforest Cafe glass. Rainforest Cafe glass. Yeah. I think we might have talked about it once on the podcast before. We have these glasses. Yeah, I got the T-Rex, two T-Rex mm-hmm. ones there. The cotton teeny ones that you shake. I, I swear we've talked about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But cool. Now we utilize. We switch up for a reason. We walk the walk. We talk the talk and we walk the walk. And I think that's important. Uh huh. Damn cats down here. But we'll make it work. <laughs> we'll make it work. John, we do this She's already for inching. a reason. Yeah, she's inching her way. You just know there might be, you might see a cat. A cat. It hasn't happened since, what, episode nine? You know, so we're fine. honestly, it was, about, it was about time. And I'll tell you. Sorry. Go ahead. This happens for a reason. Yes. <laughs> this is a special occasion. Yeah? Of course of course it is. What is it? John, we're back. We're That's back what I at said. it. We're back at it. John, you had a baby recently. I had a baby. Took a little time off. It happens. So Happy birthday to your baby. Thank you. Unfortunately I couldn't find a party hat. <laughs> it's a graduation. <laughs> so I went I, I went with a graduation <laughs> cap. Amazing. But pretend it's a party hat. I like it. Happy birthday. I love it. Thank you. Well, yes. thank you. Of my, course. My, and I got you I got you a little present, if, if that's okay. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, d- yeah. Dang. I got to text uh, Paul. You got me a... Is this... Oh. Here we go. Thank you. Here we go. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm having all these birthday treats for my daughter. Yeah. Happy birthday. Nice. Happy birthday to John's new daughter. Thank you. Should I blow it out? Please do for her. Excellent, excellent. And you can have that at your leisure. Okay. And this one's for me. <laughs> <laughs> He put a whole cake. Happy birthday to John's new daughter. This one's for you. So, Ooh. John, what are we talking about today? Oh, uh, well, you see, Andrew. <laughs> you know, I really want to talk about... Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. You can go. You can eat. That looks pretty good. What is it? Oh, this is this. I want to think of this. So, we had 52 episodes. Then... We took some time off. So had a baby. We're back. We had a year of episodes. Here we are. This is like this is like season two. This is like season two. If we think of it as this. This is season two. This is season two. Happy season two, everybody. Happy season two, everybody. Can I have one of those Reese's cups? John, you have your cupcake. Did you eat it? Oh, oh I scarfed it. As soon as oh. you turned around, it was gone. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> John, I want to talk about um <laughs> I want to talk about Disney transportation. Disney transport Perfect. <clears throat> Let me start by asking this. Yeah. I'm going to Disney soon, John. Mhm. Am I going to be going on that magical train that they're talking about building? That magical train that they're talking about building? Oh yeah. What magical train that they're talking about building? John, the train. Like the train around Magic Kingdom? That's back up. No, the train from the airport. Oh, with like the real fast one? Yeah. Are we talking about the same thing? Instead of the magical buses to get yes. to the airport to the to the parks? The train. No. It's not a train? Is it not a train? I don't know. It's a train. On JPEG's watch? Mm-hmm. What? What are you looking at? I don't know. I hate it when you do that. You've done that before. What's over there? There's someone looking in. Did you just what? What happened? Ba- booyah! Got it. Pulled a pulled a classic. 
We're doing callbacks today. We're calling them back. Roll the tapes. I, you've just been had. I hate admit that. it. I've been had. You've been had. <laughs> you, you've been had. That's what I just said. You've been had. Cheers. Hold on. Uh, well, I hated all of that. You ever do the um? No, I mean, uh, what, what? Hold on. So this train? I don't know about the train. Can you inform? Yeah, the train. Can you inform? <laughs> John, I don't know what else to say. There used to be buses. Well, R.I.P. Magical Express, first of all. R.I.P. Magical Express. Come on. How am I going to get from the airport to Disney World? Well, well, I mean, you could use the minivan. Train. Oh, Oh, really? Yeah, Yeah, you can can call the minivan. I don't know. I mean, COVID, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But minivan would bring you to for for the airport. They'd pick me up at the airport? Like, they wouldn't just, like... No, they, they... Like, from Disney World? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yep, yep. Well, this is great news. Extra fee. My middle name is Extra Fee. No doubt. Um. So, you ever do the? I'm sorry. Like drinking, eating. It's reminding me of the monorail. Like eating around the monorail. You ever do that? Like, uh, you. It's called like the monorail. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is off to an amazing start. <laughs> train? What train? Monorail? Like eat? Like dessert party? What's that? Uh, no, it's this it. thing like drink around the monorail or eat around the monorail. It's like it's like the monorail dinner. You go to like one resort because it's st- the monorail stops at three resorts. So you oh, like, yeah. gotta eat here, eat here. Shout eat. out to the Polynesian. Oh yeah, the best tops. So take it you've never done it. I've told you that I've ridden in the the driver's seat of the monorail. Yes. No. Dude, I rode in the driver's seat of the monorail. Uh the first time I went to Disney, they don't let you do that anymore. Um so, you know, that's just kind of a cool thing that I've done talking about transportation. I'm gonna talk about it. Please do. A lot of well no no, that was it. Oh. It, it was cool. Uh <laughs> I'm just saying I'm gonna talk about it and I I have talked about it. Um I guess the 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 thing about the monorail, I love 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 the monorail. I think you know, have had funds been like bottomless, they should build a monorail throughout all of Disney World. It'd be sweet. A lot of accidents on the monorail. <laughs> monorail is like a train, John, and you know what they say about trains: derail, derail every, every once every ten times ten, every minute. Ten times every minute. That's a lot of derails. Like 10 times a minute in the world, a train derails. That's crazy. That is crazy fact. I train. I train also. Never been on one that derails. Am I right? Nope. So anyway, monorail is a glorified train. Like every 10 minutes on a train, I'm like, oh. Let me tell you something about a monorail and a train. Yeah. Very similar. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Let me break down the specifics. No doubt. Train tracks, monorail also tracks. Per, one rail, one, one rail in sky. Yeah, the highway in the sky. Highway, highway in the skyway. But I mean, they're the same thing. Now, if you had a choice between taking a ten-minute ride on the monorail or taking a ten-minute ride on the people mover, which would you choose to do? Oh, the people mover all me, day me long. Me too. Me too. Hundred percent. Um. All day long. But you got to love the, you know, the Spanish, uh, the por favor, Montego Sali, a lot of those poetas. Some of the Spanish is the reason why I go to Disney World. Yeah. Oh, is, yeah. It, it, muchos gracias. Uh, muchos gracias. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, bienvenida, Sala. Slink it down there. Yeah. It's the reason why I go. You know. Since we're since we're on the we we touched briefly on the topic of minivans. Yeah. Let me just say I've never been in a minivan. Like like oh like the minivan at Disney World, or a minivan ever. You've never been in a minivan. I have been in a minivan. Okay, so you've never been in a Disney World minivan. Yeah. Oh, I have. It's a good experience. It's like uh, like like Uber, but it's. Freaking Disney, so it's so if the train isn't ready when I go, probably, when are you going? Do you know? Oh, you're going in 24. Mm-hmm. It probably, I wouldn't imagine it'd be ready. I don't know. Maybe. What does it take 
to get a train belt today? I don't know. I don't you know. should be slinging tracks down. I guess, but like the Epcot, tracks. the Epcot expansion, it's, it's way more rich than I thought it would be. Yeah, the the Epcot expansion has been taken fevs, years, hate, and I hate that. Right, but like the train ain't gonna be ready. If Epcot ain't ready, train ain't gonna be ready. I say make train priority, top priority. I need to get from the airport to Disney World ASAP. Get this guy to Disney from the airport. ASAP. So let me also say this, because I was going to Uber before I knew about the minivan, which I guess is an Uber. I, I mean, they it's work like an Uber. It, yeah, it's the Disney. It's the Disney. I need some Uber. magic the second I get to. The second I know this is I think wrong it's of me lift to... like L Y F T the the lift right means that yeah 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 I need magic the second I step foot off that airplane magic need need it me too oh well there we go I'm not gonna get in some stranger's car who's asking me oh where you going today where you Disney, think I'm going obviously he didn't recognize me from the walkout yeah Andrew from Mouse Cheers can I say there was, like, I hate riding on an airplane, but there's something very special about when you land and then you go into the line for the Magical Express. That is the magic that begins your day. Now you got to wait for a, <clears throat> a lift in the form of a minivan. Yeah. Minivan mm. is cool and all, but they really ought to bring back Magical Express. I, I hope they do one day. Now, is this a Disney train? Like, is Disney building this train? John, i got to tell you. I thought you knew about this. No. I'm not even sure it's a train. Wait, so you just br- We started this episode talking about this train. You don't know if it's happening. Yeah. Is something happening? Is something <laughs> happening? <laughs> well, why would they get rid of the Magical Express if something wasn't happening? I thought I heard train. No? I, me- I never heard of it. Let me Google this. Um... I heard train. I know no. it. They got rid of Magical Express probably for cost reasons. And cost I, cutting. No. Uh, yeah. Why? Because Little Mermaid did so bad? No, because Bob, Bob Chapek. Bob, Bob uh, Paycheck. Oh. Chapek. I, oh, oh, well, I hear that. <laughs> yeah. I hear that. Dude, that's, I, what you should know. I Google? Disney Magical Train? You you do that. Go ahead. You're going to get the Magic Kingdom train. Magical train. Uh, love the Magic Kingdom train, though. Shout out. Cheers to the Magic Kingdom train. Okay. Uh, doesn't really count as transportation, though, because if you're going like, from hotel to hotel or hotel to park, that's the transportation we're talking about here. Yeah, no, I'm just getting the well, uh, Magic Kingdom train. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't think I can keep eating this. Yeah, that's okay. I'll help. So, um... You, I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna keep eating, but I don't want to. Um. So I don't know about the train. I thought you told me about it. If I'm being honest, no, hundred percent no. Okay, so let's quit while we're ahead, just in case this is all incorrect information. Okay. Starting season two off strong, everybody. Boom! I feel Boom. good about it. I feel good about it. What do you think of the Skyline? Have you ridden it yet? Oh, of course I have. Mm. I'm a big Skyliner fan. Yeah? I'm a now, big fan. Now, the heights bother me a little, and I get scared when we stop. And I don't understand how the hell it works physically. Other than that, I like it. <laughs> what don't you understand? If it's a big, heavy, heavy box designed to hold thousands of pounds, yeah. and it's just... it's clung on to like this wire but like yeah. this yeah i don't get it a couple things yeah let's say a random telephone pole falls on the street with wires crossing the road you run your car into that wire yeah that wire is not going to break right these wires are very strong and that particular wire is very thick now have you ever changed the chain on a bike? Yes. You know how it's a little hard to get that chain on there sometimes because it's literally the perfect fit? Yeah. Same thing with that wire. It is taut enough to where it's the perfect fit, 
strong enough to hold this wire taut enough to wear as you're going through and I don't fuck I don't know any of this <laughs> this is just me guessing <laughs> taut enough to as you go from like <clears throat> circle station you know what I mean yeah you know yeah the circle, circle station. station circle station to circle station that it's not gonna dip now the entering and exiting what's your beef with it I didn't talk exiting entrance entering exiting I have no beef with because that's on the ground. Once you're in it, you go up and then like every once in a while you pass through that like do 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 that thing which by the way in Disney World that is smooth. It's smooth. Um I've ridden not so smooth ones. Oh lord. The the reality of it is Though the wire's strong enough, I still don't understand the physics of that heavy box being held onto the wire by this. And it's like off to the side. I don't get it. Um, the important thing is, John, because here's this also. Um, oh God. You don't have to keep eating. No, I do. I don't want you to get sick. So here's this also. Yeah. If something happens to me in Disney, mm-hmm. if something happens to you right now, it'd be a real <laughs> shame because we're not in Disney. If something happens to me in Disney, that's okay. Let me paint us. Let me paint the scene. Paint it. I'm in the Skyliner. The worst happens. The thing falls. John, I am paralyzed from the waist down. I'm talking worst case scenario. Yeah. Couple things. Yeah. One, I would rock a wheelchair. Two, human fast pass. <laughs> Three, we would have admittance to Disney World free for the rest of my life. Me and my family. <clears throat> you know what I say to that? I say bring on the accidents. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to that. I'll cheers to that. So um, You'll be first on the bus. Last off the bus, though, to catch 22. Hmm. But, you know, at the end of the... Would you rather be first on the bus or and last off the bus or last on the bus and first off the bus? It all comes down to the most important part of the day, which is... Spot... Um... Um... um Breakfast, breakfast, uh, lunch, time, pa- post lunch, post lunch, early afternoon, pre din. John, nighttime. Two p.m. When, John, when you're leaving the park, twelve noon, not John, midnight. When you're leaving the park, when the park is closed, everyone's going oh, yeah, back yeah, to the yeah, hotel. Yeah. And what's funny is I got that wrong. Like you put me on the spot, and I got a little nervous. But uh, I was actually going to bring up the end of night bus situation. Immediately after, so I'm surprised I didn't say anything. Yes, the we the 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 people in the wheelchairs, I think they called like ECVs. Um, can I have the last? Uh, yeah, thanks. You know, I had strong ambitions today. I thought I was going to eat half of that. I'm impressed. You. Here's the thing, and I looked for a cake because. Um, I obviously knew I was going to do this. So, like, I, like, scouted out cakes. And I and I have a thing with things that are too sweet. Yeah. I scouted out cakes specifically that I thought would be more fudgy than sweet, if that makes sense. So that you can stomach it more. So that I could stomach it more. The frosting <clears throat> on this was way more sweet than I anticipated. Got it. I should have went with some sort of fruit, like a stra- big strawberry shortcake. Oh, I would have yeah. been able to stomach you that. You could a probably eat that whole damn thing. So if I could turn back time, you know, I would have made different choices. Mm. But here we are. So anyway. Oh, okay. So many transitions can happen. By the way, I'm aware. We are aware that this episode is going, like, amazing. This is a great episode so far. Fantastic. Um. So anyway, yeah, bus, <laughs> end of night bus, a mess. I'd rather be the first one on because being the last one on the bus 
is is like a, a it's penny pinch and like am I gonna make it on? It's miserable. And then when you're the next in line to get on the bus, and then you have to wait for the next one. Like, hold honestly, up. I'd rather take I t- take a toe, take I, a toe off. You know what I've done? Get me on that bus. What? Yeah. Uh, like let's say I'm at like uh, um, Port Orleans Riverside, the or or, or an All Star, um, and it and it uh, the uh, the bus fills up and goes. I'll go on the next bus. Like mm-hmm. Port Orleans Riverside bus just goes away, and then French Quarter's there. I'm like, I'm taking that French Quarter bus, yeah, and I'm gonna walk to Riverside, yeah. or, or the All Stars are all connected. I'll walk yeah. to whatever All Star I need to. Yeah, that's no big deal. I don't want to be in that huge, terrible bus line. Yeah. And with all due respect, and here we go. Here we go. Um, um, if I'm waiting in line. For a long time, and the bus goes, and it's full, and it's still a full line of people. I'm the next one in line, and then another bus comes, and while the bus is pulling up, like two ECVs show up. It 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 defeats me a little. <laughs> it defeat, and as it does everybody. John, yeah, <laughs> and let me tell you, the pride I would feel scooting up in my ECV, knowing that it's killing people inside just a little bit. Like that's the thing. If when we are ever ECV people, when yeah, when we are, yeah, uh, we we will know, yeah. we will know what other people feel. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, by the way, I've gone with um, ECV folks, and you know, I got nothing, nothing, nothing negative to say. Uh, but you know, there Obvi- is a feeling that that happens when somebody strolls up, right? You know, obviously, we're talking. You know, don't feel pity for me. For being paralyzed from the waist down, I want this to happen. Mm-hmm. But obviously, if you're in, if you have to be wheeled around in some sort of device or or, or, or a vehicle or, or a wheelchair, you know something's obviously wrong. We sympathize with you. We're not making fun of you in any way. You know, yes, you deserve all this special care and treatment. But it's funny to talk about that. Uh, you know, uh, when when the time comes around, it's like ah, oh, yeah, it's just funny. Right, 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 right. So when when thinking about going, just really quick going back to that question, you have to think about the most important time of day. That's nighttime. Yes. Get on that bus. You're right. You're right. Um, you're absolutely right. And and I know we're talking about transportation, but you get those handicap rooms. That means the handicap bathrooms. Yes. And you know I handicap bathroom. The, yeah, I, I think we call them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Episode 100. Bathroom breaks. Bathroom breaks. It's going to be a good one. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Um, So so with that said, uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to some of the bus drivers because some of them just decided to keep it quiet, but some of them keep it fun. And when the buses are full, full packed and nobody wants to be there, some of them make it really good, like with trivia or act real silly or do what, you know, this, that. Um, they're the unspoken heroes. Really. They they the truly thankless are job. The, the thankless, thankless job. indeed. Yeah. Um. I mean, you know, some people say thank you. Some people say thank you, but a thankless job nonetheless. Yeah. Th- you know, minim- minimal thanks. Minimal. Th- I don't say thank. Do you say thank you? I do I, not. I don't. I say like have a good night or something. I don't even think I do that. I try to be polite. Yeah. To the bus driver. Yeah. Well, you know, good for you. So, um, uh, uh, you know, we can hop around. I'm, we're, we're we're aware this episode is is a little like perfect. It's perfect, perfect. Um, perfect. But f- you know we're talking about the strawberry shortcake that you should have gotten and all that, and that made me think of like should've that bucket of strawberry shortcake from the Hoopty Doo review, which made me think of Fort Wilderness, and everything always comes back to Fort Wilderness. It always but does. Fort Wilderness in itself has its own transportation. Oh yeah, they got the bus system inside. It's wild. They got the golf carts you can rent. Those golf carts. They got the Boats. The boats. The boats. The Let's boats. talk about the boats. Now, I'm a boat guy. I love the boats. I'm a boat guy. When I retire, I'm driving a boat from Fort Wilderness to, you know, um, it goes to Magic Kingdom, but it, like, stops off at Wilderness Lodge. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think contemporary as well. Mm-hmm. More uh, unsung on heroes guy. right there. Because, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. same thing as the bus driver. Any any trans transporter, really. Yeah. Depending on the scene, I appreciate if you want to make it fun in a bus or in a boat. If you're in a minivan, I prefer not to talk. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, 
Okay, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll finish off boats first, but um, the the my favorite boat obviously is uh, well. So the Fort Wilderness boat to Magic Kingdom is stressful in its own right because you got to get there early, you know, and it's hard to get there. It's hard to plan to get there for rope drop when you got to wake up, go to a bus, bus to another bus stop, run to the boat. Boat stops at three places. It's a hectic morning, and then no question. Yeah, and then you're then you're beat. You're uh, racing the monorail people and the ferry boat people. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but you know, it's all good. At the um, at the Fort Wilderness boat ramp, you can actually see the electric water pageant uh, going by every night. It's kind of cool. Which you know is pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So uh, so boats, and there are different kinds of boats too. Oh yeah. So let's start with the boats we're familiar with. Mm-hmm. There are boats that take you from uh, whatever, wherever you're staying to a park. Okay. Yep. Then there are boats within parks. Yep. Okay. There are like the there's a a boat um, that uh, is in uh, Epcot. Right? Yeah, it goes uh, from one side one to side. the other of the World Showcase. Yeah. Um, and then you can get on a um, a boat ride in um, Magic Kingdom. The Liberty. The Liberty uh, um, boat. The Liberty boat. The yep. We'll call it the LB. Yeah, the LB. You could also take like a raft ride to Tom Sawyer Island. Tom Sawyer Island, that raft ride. And can I just say, I saw a video of the Liberty boat. Needing to be evacuated. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> what they did was they took that raft and they went and really? started evacuating people on the raft. Really? Now, these raft drivers, these are heroes. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know if you've ever, how can I say this, been in charge of a raft before. Full to the brim with people. Yeah. Full to the brim. If this was a pickle jar, you could not close it without spilling pickle juice. And you could not fit another pickle there. You are in charge of the safety of all these people. You have to know how to drive this thing completely. And it's not as easy as it seems. You know, left is right, right is left. Right. That gets me every time. Gets me. Every time. Every time. I'm not saying I want to be a raft driver when I retire, you know. Because you're not skilled enough. No, I just don't want to deal. It's a lot. On, it's a lot on your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot on your shoulders. And I don't want to be the guy who'd be like John, Liberty Bell boat or Liberty Tree boat or whatever. You got to evacuate. You got to eva- evac. Why would you have to evac the Liberty? Was it sinking? Um, if it's I, sa- how deep is that lagoon? You know, I would just go to the top. Have you seen it? Have the Have you seen the lagoon drained? Have you seen it drained? Nah, that one. John, I've seen it drained. So it can't be that deep. It's pretty deep. Oh, really? It's pretty deep. <laughs> yeah, but it can't, it's not it's not like Liberty boat. Deep. You have to you have to think of it this way. That's a big boat. Okay? R- tall boat. That's a tall boat. That's a heavy boat. John, heavy things like to dip in water yeah. naturally until it hits the surface area. And by the way, I don't know any of this. Until it hits the <laughs> surface area to which it can float, right? That's yeah. why cruise ships float. <laughs> so I don't understand boats. The, the, we don't under, I don't understand because boats. Because if I put my hand to water and I like push down, yeah, I go a, under. You go under. Because of the surface area of the boat, you see, it ends up floating. So it has to be pretty deep to meet that surface area. Right. The mass, if you would. But the circumference of the boat. Understood. Okay. <laughs> the circumference <laughs> of the boat. Um, Even with that, I feel like I would just go to the top of the boat if it was sinking. Because um, I don't think the lagoon is deep enough. For the entire length of that boat to be completely submerged underwater. And if it is deep enough, I could probably still stand on top and my head would be out of water. But, John, this ain't the Titanic. You just swim to the land. No? No? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, but yeah, but um, but um, but, but, be, but snakes, snakes or gators, gators, dude, in Disney World. <laughs> yep, gators. Yep. How are gators strolling through the the entrance of the park without a ticket? That's what I want to know. Well, maybe they hitch in with the snakes. <laughs> I saw a baby gator at Coronado Springs in the in the pond. That is not a park, John. Now I've seen I've seen otters or whatever the hell they were in in Saratoga Springs, that river there. I wasn't like, how did these otters get here? No, I was like, they're otters. They live in the water. I would be like, how the heck did these otters get here? You know, now that I really think about like, it, why were there otters? How there? did those otters get there? Like you know these. You know, when you think about, like, wild sea creatures, you think, like, the water snakes. Uh, you think, like, frogs. You think alligators. You don't think, like, ooh, the otters got in. Yeah, the otters got in. No, I mean, so More like the otters were put there. Props. The otters were put there. You can't put one over on us. We're the Disney boys. We know this. Let's change our name to the Disney boys. <laughs> we're the Disney boys now. Tweet it. Hashtag Disney Boys. Hashtag Disney Boys. Season 2. It's here. It's coming at you fast. Ready or not. Ready this or not. This is a whole new thing. John, it's a whole new thing. And let me tell you something. Never once. I thought you'd be like, let me tell you something. I'll cheers to that. <laughs> like, <I'm> just... <laughs> but what? I never once for a moment thought there was an alligator in the Magic Kingdom. I mean, there probably isn't. But there could be. It's Florida. The, we, I mean, it's not like the alligator doesn't need to go through the front gate. Yeah, because he doesn't have a ticket. Exactly. He'd be turned away. Go that way. No, thank you. Yeah. Go to the courtesy booth or whatever. <laughs> they. Magic Kingdom. An animal can sneak in. And an alligator can find water. John. I don't know if what I'm saying is correct. You but know, there's bacteria in the water. Oh, oh, that bacteria, dude. That's how you get toe worms. <laughs> so why would I swim to land if I could just stand on top of the boat and save myself a whole mess of toe worms? You're right. And I don't know how much you know about toe worms, but let me educate you. An, 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 go ahead. The doctor's going to prescribe you an antibiotic. Then when the toe duck, because you go, you'll an be able to see, well, you'll be able to see the toe through you, the, the the toe worm through your toenail. Okay. Wait, do so, they do they dwell under your toenail? Yeah, you'll be able to see the, the in the toenail. Do you, can and you then feel the doctor, them uh, hold on, I got questions. Oh well, I've never had a toe worm, so like I don't know if you can feel it move. Damn, how do yeah. you know if you have a toe worm? You see it? Uh yeah, you can see it. Or you just feel it? No, you can see it. I, Does I don't it know hurt? You, Are I, they eating you? I don't. I'm not. I'm not the toe worm. I mean, I'm not a toe wormologist. It's a worm, so it needs to live. It needs to eat to live. What's it eating? You? Well, um, <laughs> beats me. Here's what I know. You can sometimes see the toe worm from your toenail. The doctor will then give you an antibiotic. You will see the toe worm die. <laughs> die? You, you will see it die. And then you're like, oh, should I make an appointment with the doctor to take this worm out? Nah, nah, nah. They're not going to make another appointment. You know why? Because it dissolves into your body, John. Jeez. And it's no big deal. It's no big deal, ultimately. It just dissolves away. So you it basically it decomposes under your toenail. Oh, yeah. Damn. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I don't want to. So you know what? I'm right there with you. Why is it jumping called, in that water? Why a toe worm? Why not? It's in like, your toe. Yeah, no, no, no. I get it, but like, why? Why is that where they go? Because why not on your fingernail? Because it's most common to find it in like dirty areas or still water or dirty water, and like if you're in a resort in Jamaica, and you're like walking around, like not the resort, uh, in your sandals. That's why I always wear socks with sandals. And nice. you like step in some water, you're like, oh, stepped in a puddle. Ha ha, my bad. Nah, nah. Toe worm. Damn. Yeah. Well, then I got to be careful when I walk around with my Crocs. And that's why I always wear socks with Crocs. Though I didn't know about the toe worm. 
He's mostly in like, like other Jim. places. I don't, I don't mean to single out Jamaica, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean the story I'm referencing it comes from Jamaica. Oh, <laughs> uh, gotcha. Well, let me ask you a question. If uh, if toe worms can sneak their way, you know, an alligator could. So you don't know what's in that lagoon. It could be alligators. It could be otters. Who knows? It could be toe worms. That's a bad combination of things. It could be all three. And, and snakes. It could be all four. I'd take the otters. Are otters mean? Do you know? Otters, I think, are not... Um, are not I think they're neutral. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So one of the forms of transportation definitely is not swimming. Uh, no, hundred percent. No, <laughs> we're gonna say absolutely not. That's off the table. Don't ask. Do not swim. Don't even ask. Yeah. Um, you mean you have taken the uh, that kind of like bus that van to like the. DVC meetings, oh, talked yeah, about that. Yeah, and that's oh. like the type of thing where you really don't want to talk to them either. You I want to talk to them, and they always want to talk to you. Yeah, always. And can I ask you? Oh, let me ask your opinion on something. Yeah. How do you feel? Because this happened with me with a DVC fan. How do you feel when the driver you you get to your destination, you go to open the door, the driver goes na na na. Let me get it. He opens his door. He walks around, opens uh, the door. A gentleman, yes. Yeah. But, but, right? But we don't need this here. Like, you're just sort of waiting for him to, yeah, I would have been out already. Yeah, like, don't be fake. I'm, I'll let myself in things. And right. I'm fine for it. You know, I'm not going right. to think any less of you if you don't open the door. Right. Same thing. Maybe not. No, the same thing. The resort buses, like, uh. The G, G, uh, G, uh, Jumbo House to the, this, the, you know, in Animal Kingdom Lodge, they have different home homes to the different, you know, parts of the resort. And they have buses that within the resort that go there. Hmm. Not like the Fort Wilderness buses, which are like Disney buses. These are like, you know, vans. Um, I think that they let you in. I don't, I don't remember. It's been a bit. It's been a hot minute. Hmm. It's been a hot minute. Can I ask you a question regarding buses? It's just a regular Disney bus, really yeah. quick. You're in a bus. Have mm. you been the only one in a bus before? Oh yeah. Okay. You're the only one in the bus. Like me and, uh, me and uh, the, my you, party. Your party. Yeah, yeah. Your party. Yeah. Where are you sitting? Where are you sitting on that bus? In the back. Back center. So like you're staring just down the aisle. Do you know what I mean? Probably back. Uh, so if I'm if I'm in the back looking forward, I'm in the back left. Back left? Why? Usually that's where that like vent is. You can feel the heat. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Like yeah, but then sometimes I'll sit right right in the front. Easy access to the door. Yeah. But you know. You know, you're, you're on vacation. Who cares? What are your thoughts <laughs> about standing on the bus? I always stand on the bus. Do you stand on the bus because you have to or because you want to, though? Because I have to. What are your thoughts on standing on the bus if you didn't have to? Um, I, I, So here's the thing. When I'm on the monorail, I stand, even if I don't have to. I like standing. So I don't hate standing on the bus However, usually when I'm on a bus, it's at the end of a park day, and I do not feel like standing on the bus. So I I would sit on the bus, but I would stand on the monorail. Because your body's in two different types of condition when you're on one of those. If you're on a bus, you're you're probably tired. <laughs> if you're on a monorail, ooh, magic. Yeah, there we go. All right, that was a fair answer. Yeah. That was a fair answer. Um, As far as... I'm concerned. I like... Let's pretend the bus is full. My ideal spot to stand would be... Because you walk in the bus, right? Um, and there's usually like a, a step or two up. Mm -hmm. And then it continues a little bit. 
All right. Stand right on that step. No, nah, man. Okay, yeah, maybe. Why? No, because everybody gets like pissed off at you. Nah. Nah. I get so you pissed. know how they're like, everybody move back, move back. There's always somebody on a step that doesn't move. No. They're like, move back. And then like everybody else, like, you got to walk back. That's for haters. That <laughs> Those are the haters that yeah. do that. Yeah. I am the I am the victim here. Mm-hmm. So am I. You are not a victim. I am a victim. All right? All right fair. You're not on that step at all. Yeah, I know. Because when I go on that step, I... Keep a moving in case more John, people have to come out. But there always comes a point in time where you can't keep moving. Someone's going to be on that step, right? Right. And you're the guy on the step? I'm that guy on the step. So you're a victim. I'm a victim. You don't want to be on the step. You just always end up there? I always end up there. I like being the victim, though. Don't think it's a bad thing. Oh. And I like feeling taller than everyone else. You're not taller than everybody else because some people are on the step above you. I like being taller than the people in front of me. Yeah. I don't care. I don't. I I mean, you're 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 pretty tall. You're I'm probably ta- taller I'm, than most of I'm the... I'm yeah. a tall person <laughs> in general. Yeah. But extra tall on that step. A, A, A. Yeah. <clears throat> uh-huh. Now, let's... Uh, Let's talk about um let's talk about another uh, a, a classic form of transportation. Let's take it a little different though. Mhm. And and I think this is a, a good a good one in lieu of in lieu of the situation. I, mean, I half expect you to be like, "Let's talk about the classic walk." <laughs> 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 no, nah, go ahead. A baby stroller. A baby stroller? Are you pushing a baby stroller? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Are you pushing a baby stroller? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have two babies, mm-hmm. are you getting that double stroller? Um, I uh, I don't think so. I guess every, anything's possible. They got those umbrella strollers, you know, like the kind of cheaper ones that kind of just fold real quick uh right now i have a heavy duty like stroller you can feel like a car seat in it and stuff you can bring your own stroller of course oh yeah. i thought I, for some reason i thought you had to use their strollers no no they just have them in case you need them yeah i've been to disney three times with sebastian every time we used our stroller oh but now that i have a daughter also Sebastian probably end up in an umbrella stroller, which, you know, sometimes he can walk, sometimes he'll be in that. Those umbrella strollers aren't great, though. You no. hit a pebble the wrong way. Yeah. You ain't moving. Yeah, I mean, that's why I don't own one, but I, I we might get one just as kind of like a, uh, a you know, backup or, right, a, right, right. you know, so that we could stroll them both. But generally, Sebastian's walking around, you know, but, you know, crowded park and stuff, and it's a lot of walking there. So umbrella stroller would be a decent thing. Or a double stroller. I don't know. Hmm. Haven't thought about it. Interesting. I don't mind pushing a stroller, but people, man, people don't care. Do people don't care that you have a stroller? <laughs> no. I suppose I, I've never experienced it. So, yeah, just like walking in front of you. Well, yeah, think of, think about like think about people like Paul, who's like. Ooh, we got to be the first one to this ride. And you know how he walks. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Cut, oh, cut. Like, like, oh, boy, like yeah. there's people like that that just, like, don't care. Uh, there's people like Paul that don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, you know? So, I mean, hmm. what's that? I mean, no big, I guess, but. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. These things that you don't think about when you're not in it. But, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Um, there was one time... Um, just pop back it, story popped into my head so I'm pop back to the bus real quick that the intercom went down so like they you know they they can announce things but it was a uh, like a full bus at the end of the night and the poor guy he was an older guy had to like shout out like oh building 21 and he like kind of like kind of sounded like a ghost you know like 21 <laughs> and like he <laughs> poor guy he's like oh dear the Intercom is broken. Building 20, you know, and like every time in the bus it was chock full. Felt real bad for him. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. That's rough. 
Have you been on? Have you ever been on one of the carriage rides in Disney? Um, no. They they offer them at uh, the uh, uh, Riverside Resorts. Those carriage rides. You can also, I believe, you can rent a, a not a carriage, but like a, a thing at like Old Key West. You can do it at the boardwalk, I think. You can like rent, you know, these things to drive. Uh, I've never done any of that. You could, you know, go horse riding in Fort Wilderness. Horse riding, yeah. yeah. Um, I hear, hold on. So I'm going to say something. I can't remember if it was Disney related or not. Okay. But I really want to say it was. Disney uses all of their their recyclable glass, and they break it down, uh, so fine that and they lay it down on the whatever horse track they do. And so what the horses are are walking on is is glass is really really fine glass. It almost turns into like a a, a sand. I don't remember if it if it was Disney, but I really want to say it. I was watching a Disney documentary. But why? Is that good for the horses? It's just a way to use the glass. Oh, yeah, it's just another way to recycle it because it's it, it's obviously safe for people to walk on, and they have so much glass coming through, and it needs to be constantly replaced with. Both the horses treading on it, the rain, and then all this. Cool. It's like anything else, like how every summer you have to replace your mulch in the garden or whatever. You have to replace the glass. Got it, got it, got it. I really want to say it was a Disney documentary. I mean, it sounds like a Disney type of thing. Yeah. Because Disney really, like, they try to keep as much as possible in-house mm-hmm. so they don't have to rely on things out outwards. So. Yeah, so... It's very possible if you look down and like it looks like almost like a sand. It's possible it's glass. Yeah, yeah. So that's a little fun fact. If it's not Disney, it's definitely some. It's definitely a thing. I remember watching a documentary about it. Got you. I just really think it was Disney World. Got you. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. And where else, honestly, would generate that much glass? People. Am I it, right? it was probably Disney. Was We're probably gonna say Disney. it was Disney. We're gonna say it was with, Disney. We're gonna say with one hundred percent certainty it was Disney. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, man, episode fifty three. Episode fifty three. Season two, episode one. You know, ultimately, um, I really wanted to just come on. Yeah. Here, here's my here's my thing with this episode. Yeah. I didn't want to come on and say. Hey, we're talking about this. Let's do a top five list. Right. I wanted to come on. I wanted to talk to you. And it, it has been nice because I, I've missed doing this. And this was this kind of felt like a like, you know, just a just a nice conversation. And uh overall I think that it went um amazing. I kind uh, of would agree. But I'll tell you real quick, I just say you know, going into this next year worth of episodes, um, we're we're here to we're to do exactly this to talk. This is, you know, a lot of times how we hang out because you know life life is so busy. Um, so this is wonderful that we have this outlet to hang out. Um, so you know, any kind of politics, drama, any crazy things that's happening with Disney. I think that you're you're uh, you're watching the wrong podcast if you want to hear really about that. We're just trying to keep it light, trying to keep it fun. Uh, you know, not to say we wouldn't bring something up once in a while, but you know, I just kind of wanted to say that because cu- current Disney people might be like trying to watch you know, podcasts and like hear all the drama and whatnot. And I don't think that's what we're about. At the end of the day, we're about the true meaning of Disney, which is magic. Yeah. And what's more magical than just getting together and having fun? Exactly. So that's what this is. That's that's 100% what this is. And I'll cheers to that. So will I. Every time. I'm out. I am not. Cheers. Cheers.